Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, and I think that's right. Let me double check. Yeah. And today we are going to talk about degrees and radians. So I hope you've watched the uh, video on ex that explains radians. I thought it was a really good video. So go back and watch that. I'm assuming that you've done that before we go into the conversion part of this. So let's talk about how to convert back and forth between degrees and radians. Well, the key thing that we got out of the video was that 360 degrees is two pi radians, and that also you can take 180 degrees and say that is equal to pi radians. So we're going to use this equivalency in order to convert back and forth between degrees and radians. Now, I want to convert 85 degrees into radians. So let's think of how we would do that. Well, we're going to use something called a unit multiplier, which if you were here in seventh grade, uh, we did that in that course. And it's going to be just a fraction. And this fraction is going to have an equal relationship here in the numerator and denominator. We know pi radians equals 180 degrees. And by the way, you can abbreviate radians as RAD, RAD. So let's start with 85 degrees. We know that if we're going to convert degrees to radians, whatever we are starting with, we're going to put that same unit in the denominator so that those two units will cancel out. Just put a common factor would cancel out in the numerator denominator. So I'm going to put 180 degrees in the denominator and pi radians in the numerator because they are equivalent to each other. So it's like multiplying a fraction by 2 over 2 or 3 over 3. These have the same value. So what happens is, my degree units cancel out, and I simply have to reduce 85 over 180. Now remember with your calculator, you can just do 85, divide by 180, hit enter, and then hit math, enter, enter, and it'll reduce your fraction. And this fraction is 17 over 36 in reduced form. Now notice that I have the pi left over. That's going to be in my answer here. And I leave pi in the numerator with the 17. So we just have one simple fraction with 17 pi in the numerator and 36 in the denominator, and that's our radians. Now, let's convert from radians to degrees. Well, I'm going to start with pi over 3 radians. This is a fraction, so it's a little bit weirder, but radians really is in my numerator here. So what I'm going to do is I've got pi over 3 radians, and I'm going to then put my radian units in the denominator so that they will cancel out. And pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, so my radians cancel out. And really, the pi's are going to also cancel out. How nice is that? And so then I've got 180 degrees divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So pi over 3 radians is equivalent to a 60 degree angle. Remember, radian is an angle. Okay, now let's express 35 degrees in radians, but this time we're going to put our answer to the nearest hundredth of a radian. Now this is going to be in the homework tonight, so watch the directions carefully. Sometimes you'll leave your answer with pi in it. Other times they will tell you to go ahead and use a give, give a decimal answer. So we want to go from degrees to radians. So I'm going to set this one up just like I did with the first problem. I'm going to go ahead and start with 35 degrees and multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees. So my degree units will cancel out. But this time, since I'm going to the nearest hundredth of a radian, I'm going to convert pi to a decimal number, 3.14. I believe that the book actually um, does 3.1416 um, for their value for pi. You could use the pi key if you wanted to in your calculator. You might want to try it with 3.14 and with the pi key and see, compare those answers to those in the back of the book and see. Um, how that works out. Um, I haven't tested it yet. So I'm going to have 35 degrees, 35 divided by 180, and I'm also going to be multiplying by 3.14. So 35 times 3.14 divided by 180 gives me the decimal number 0 0.61. And then my answer would be in radians. You can put rad if you want to, or radians. I'm not sure. Watch for the homework and see how many um, decimal places or sig figs they ask for when you do it. Now, of course, you know I'm going to go to the other side. 
So let's go to the other side. And here we are. It's my favorite part, going to the other side. Okay, now let's go from two radians to degrees. But I want to go to the nearest tenth of a degree. Okay, so now I want to go decimal again. And so I've got two radians multiplied by 180 degrees over pi radians. Remember, my radians I'm starting out with will cancel out with my radians in the denominator. But since I'm going to the nearest tenth of a degree, I'm going to convert pi to 3.14 or use your pi key. So I've got 2 times 180 divided by 3.14, and 2 radians is actually approximately 114.6 degrees. This one said to the nearest tenth of a degree. I think the other one did too. But anyway, just, just follow directions on what to round to. Okay, now, that was fast. Now the homework. You have textbook homework, and it goes, it looks like 1 through 40 something. Don't freak out. These go really, really fast. So you're going to zoom right through those. There's 20-something you know, problems. And I have assigned you a short Khan Academy, I think it's four questions, uh, problem set to do too that has to do with this type of conversion also. So I thought that might be nice to throw in a little Khan Academy there. And then also we're going to have a quiz tomorrow, our first quiz in here um, on 12.5 to 12.9. Okay, so that's going to be open book. So don't stress out. These two assignments, well, okay, clarify. This assignment in the textbook will be due, um, this is Thursday, will be due Friday at 9 a.m., okay? Khan Academy, I want you to get that done tonight. So go ahead and get that done by um, Thursday night, that's tonight, at, it gives you till 11.59 p.m., okay, so midnight. Hope you're not staying up that late. Please don't. Okay. And then uh, there will be a quiz tomorrow on 12.5 through 12.9. This is the beginning of chapter 13. I forgot to say that. So um, anyway, so we're getting to the end here of 12, chapter 12, and we will be looking at a test me, probably next Monday or Tuesday, but no, 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 not, not Friday, but um, so it's Friday for the quiz. Monday will not be the test. Tuesday. Uh, we'll plan on the test on Tuesday. So. I'm doing these videos one day ahead, and so I'm a little confused on my dates, and I'm sorry about that. All right, well, I hope y'all have a blessed day. This is Radiance. We're starting a new chapter. This is our last chapter on trig. We've had one. Now we're starting a new one. So, miss you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.